Can you imagine a competition that the champion never participates the battle, but win? The Emperor Shun Zhi was such a winner. In the legend, Shun Zhi got Duerguin's support because Duerguin deeply loved Shun Zhi's mother, Xiao Zhuang. In real history, this is not true. When Huang Taiji was alive, Xiao Zhuang and Duerguin didn't have many chances to see each other. Duerguin was one year older than Xiao Zhuang. In 1624, 13 years old Duerguin married his first Fu Jin, who was from Kerqin Mongol Burjijite clan. One year later, Xiao Zhuang married Huang Taiji. In 1626, Nor Hachi passed away. Duerguin's biological mother was forced to sacrifice. In following years, Huang Taiji brought Duerguin to attack different places. Duerguin had military talents. He won lots of wars and became stronger and stronger. Well, during this time, there wasn't detailed records about Xiao Zhuang's life, but we know she gave birth four kids. In 1629, 1632, 1633, and 1638. In the later Jin and the very early Qing dynasty, Manchuria people wasn't influenced by Han Chinese culture very much. So, imperial women had more freedom to meet with other imperial men. But this didn't mean cheating husband was acceptable. Especially this husband was the emperor. In very early Qing dynasty, the general strong inheritance rules didn't apply. During Nur Hachi and Huang Taiji's time, the Kehan or the Emperor didn't have absolute powers. When the Kehan or the Emperor made important decisions, he should get the support of majority eight banners leaders. Besides, in this time, Qing was attacking Ming Military powers played very important roles in political affairs. So when Huang Taiji suddenly passed away without appointing a heir, his throne wasn't guaranteed to be passed to his son. In eight banners, two yellow banners were owned by Huang Taiji. When Huang Taiji passed away, these military powers didn't automatically pass to his sons. But to keep their benefits, most two yellow banners generals support Huang Taiji's son. Theoretically, all other six leaders of eight banners had a chance to inherit the throne. But eventually, the throne competition only happened between Hao Ge and Duerguin. Hao Ge, the Prince Su of the first rank, was Huang Taiji's oldest son. In Huang Taiji's size, only Hao Ge got the noble title because he made military contributions. Hao Ge was the leader of Plan Blue Banner. When he was against Duerguin, a large part of two yellow banners generals supported him. Duerguin, the Prince Ri of the first rank, he was Huang Taiji's little brother. He was Hao Ge's uncle, although he was three years younger than Hao Ge. Duerguin was the leader of Plan White Banner. 
he made huge military contributions to the country. Border the White Banner was led by the Prince Yu of the first rank, Duo Duo. Duo Duo was Duo Gui's four brother. They had a very close relationship, so Border the White Banner firmly supported Duo Gui. Border the Blue Banner was led by the Prince Zheng of the first rank, Ji Er Halang. Ji Er Halang was Huang Taiji's cousin. He said he kept neutral, but he had a great relationship with Huang Taiji. He didn't directly support Hao Ge, but I think he preferred to see Huang Taiji's son inherited the throne. Plain Red Banner was led by the Prince Li of the first rank, Dai Shan. Dai Shan was Nor Hatch's second son, and he was born by Nor Hatch's first wife. He was the leader of Ai Xin Jue Luo clan. He lost the opportunity of inheriting Nor Hatch's throne because he involved the scandal with Duo Gui's biological mother. When Huang Taiji just became the second Ke Han of the later Jin, Dai Shan, Amin, Mong Guo Tai managed the court with Huang Taiji. Their status were equally. But in following several years, Amin and Mong Guo Tai lost their powers because of serious mistakes. Dai Shan voluntarily gave up his managing powers and became Huang Taiji's officer. So Dai Shan kept his life, honor, and assets. When Huang Taiji passed away, Dai Shan was 60 years old. He publicly announced he kept neutral, and he did it. Dai Shan didn't care who became the next emperor, but as the leader of the clan, he didn't allow the strong competitors to have military conflict. Bothered Red Banner was led by Dai Shan's grandson, so this banner kept neutral. For the number of banners, Hao Ge seems had advantage, but different banners had didn't have same soldiers. If counted by soldiers, Hao Ge didn't have many advantage. Because both sides couldn't accept other sides' leader inheriting the throne, if they fight with each other, today, we may have no chance to see Qing Dynasty. When there wasn't a chance to get the best result, a smart people could quickly change the strategy to get the second best result. Yes, Dragon was just smart people. For two yellow banners, they were loyalty to Huang Taiji, not Hao Ge. Once Huang Taiji's son inherited the throne, two yellow banners didn't really care this son was Hao Ge or someone else. In 1643, except Hao Ge, Huang Taiji had other seven sons. So, Dorgun agreed to pass the throne to one of those seven sons of Huang Taiji. Meanwhile, Dorgun mentioned he and Jie Hala actually managed the court. Under this plan, the throne could peacefully pass to Huang Taiji's son. Two red banners agreed. When all other six banners agreed Dorgun's plan, Hao Ge had to accept this result. Actually, in this political battle, Hao Ge was the only side got nothing. 
Two red banners didn't directly get benefits in this battle, but because they truly kept neutral, the emperor did give his branch rewards. In Qing Dynasty, there were twelve iron cap priests. Dai Shan's branch got three of them. Now here is the question: Huang Taiji had seven sons. Why Fu Lin was selected? First, five of them were born by Huang Taiji's lower rank concubines, who didn't get formal titles. Fu Lin was born by Consort Zhuang, who was the lowest in Huang Taiji's five former consorts. Bo Mu Bo Guar was Huang Taiji's youngest son. He was born by the consort Gui, who was the third rank consort. The consort Gui also was from Kerqin Mango Borjijite clan, but in different branch with Zhe Zhe and Xiao Zhuang. The consort Gui's original family was much weaker than Zhe Zhe and Xiao Zhuang's original family. Besides. When Huang Taiji passed away, Bo Mu Bo Guar was two years old, while Fu Lin was five years old. At last, Duergu's beloved wife was Zhe Zhe's half sister. They had the same mother but different fathers. So, from Duergu's view, Fu Lin was more closer. In October 1643, five years old Fu Lin became the second emperor of Qing. The coronation was held in Chongqing Hall of Shenyang Imperial Palace. As emperor's biological mother, Xiao Zhuang started to play roles in political affairs. Meanwhile, Xiao Zhuang and Duergu had a chance. To frequently see each other. In next video, let's see whether Xiao Zhuang married Duergu. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.